I want abs by like May, but I realize that's not really realistic. But your girl is going to have some definition in her abdomen area sooner rather than later. Hey y'all, it's Taste Pink. Welcome back to the channel. So, you already know, subscribe, join the family. If you're new here, if you subscribed, definitely let me know so that I can give you a nice warm welcome. And also, be sure to share this video with your homegirls, your homeboys. It's time to slay for all of 2019. And if you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, definitely give this video a thumbs up and kick it with me in the comments because we have a lot to talk about today. So for much of my adult life, I've been on a weight loss journey. I've either been overweight, I've been fluctuating in between like my goal size or, you know, really on the far end, maybe like a size 13, close to 200 pounds, which is not good for someone who's 5'5". I have been putting in the work. 2018, I started my journey in February. So it's been a little over a year and I'm so proud of the progress I've made, but sis, now, I want abs. Okay, I want abs. I feel like I can get abs. I deserve abs. You know, for the entire month of April, I have not ordered any takeout. I'm a little bit irritable, but I'm happy with the results that I'm seeing. I've wanted to lean my body, tone it, get definition. I switched trainers. I mean business. I continue to adjust. I continue to assess where I am so that I can get closer to my goals because they're going to consistently change when you are on your journey. So, I mean, um, it's April by May. I feel like I should have abs, okay? It, it's time. It, it's time. I haven't had sweets like I like. I haven't had caramel M&M's. I haven't had Dr. Pepper. I haven't had Chinese food. Y'all know I love jasmine rice. So, um, I think I deserve abs. But I have been putting in the work. And by putting in the work, I've been writing in my journal so that I can keep a healthy, clear mind. I've also been insanely active. Like I told you guys, I got a new trainer and he means business. He does not go easy on me and I don't complain. I love when I can really challenge my body and see how, you know, much stronger I can get. Like I'm trying to lift hella pounds. Like I want to be the strong woman that I know I can be and that you all deserve to see me at because I want to be my best self. And so, I mean, now's the time. I eat so much cleaner. I thought I was eating cleaner. You know, I did videos in the past showing you guys what I eat. I thought that was it, but sis, when you seek the you know help or enlist the help of a professional, you realize just how much you're not doing right. And that's how you learn like, okay, this is why it's taking me so long to see results. This is why I'm plateauing. But like I did last year, I partnered with 310 Nutrition to show you guys some healthier options for your healthy lifestyle because we don't diet over here, okay? Because when you diet, you fall into fast trends. And you know what? You get really caught up in the gimmick rather than like reassessing and changing your habits so that you can see results in the long run because sis I've maintained my weight loss over 45 pounds for a year and that was hard work so with 310 nutrition they have meal replacement shakes I got some collagen powder the meta boost I got collagen pills I got MCT oil but I really want you guys to focus on the starter kit. The starter kit is $39. You get 70% off with the link in the description. So make sure that you check out my description box so you get your money off and you can try a plethora of their different meal replacement flavors. They have a ton like chocolate, which is my absolute favorite. You can do vanilla chai if you know, get your pinky up or if you like vanilla, they have a ton of options and recipes so you don't get bored. I wanna show you guys what I mean when I say that I'm putting in the work and I'm not making excuses. When I say I wanted to get active, I got active. That means four to five times out of the week, I got up, I drank my 32 to 64 ounces of water right before I left the building. Like right before I leave home, I'm drinking my water. I need to hydrate. And you guys, you know, you comment on my skin and all that stuff. And like me taking the collagen, this is why your girl looks younger even though she's a little older, okay? I can um, lie to the girls about my age and they believe me. But, you know, doing those things is super important. Your morning routine is what's gonna motivate you throughout the course of your day. And consistency is how you're going to see results, you know, over the course of time. Now, what is my workout regimen like? It's going to vary. And I told you guys, running for me is 
everything. Running is how I stay lean, it's how I keep my weight down, and honestly, I think it helps with the bloating. Like, you know, I get to sweat it all out, remove and reduce those toxins, and it just really makes me feel really, really good. There's like a mental aspect that people forget to talk about when it comes to your weight. Like, you get to sort through your problems. Like, on a three mile run, sis, you get to really get in tune with yourself, your environment, and why you're even doing this, because that matters. And when I think about why I'm even on this journey, it's because I want to be a healthier version of myself. You know, what I was conditioned to believe growing up, what is healthy portions that I used to eat, the types of foods, the meal preparation, the seasonings. It's all about like relearning that and understanding that this vegetarian lifestyle that I'm on, I love it. I can be completely content. I can eat real food. I can be 100% content with the meals that I make and you know feel full I don't have to fake it I don't have to put on a front and you know it's it's just really sis it's a whole vibe like just to put it in perspective I never thought I would be a vegetarian but here I am a whole year and some change later and I'm doing it and it feels so good but like when your diet is right and you're working out the running the weight training so lifting the weights circuit training my hit routines my weight trainer my trainer he puts my body to work we do hit we do cardio we do running in some of our you know sessions he also has me lifting weights i am putting this body to the test like y'all are gonna see muscles before this year is out i say by summer maybe not may i thought i would have abs by may but okay let's try june sounds more realistic but then i you know do things like running up the stairs stairs is a big thing jumping rope burpees i like to do movements that involve the entire body because even if you only have 30 minutes in a day if you give yourself 30 minutes every day for at least four to five times out of the week you are going to see results now how you're eating that's going to determine whether you're maintaining you're going to be in a deficit where you're going to start to lose or you may be at this phase like in your journey where you're kind of eating the same things which is key eating some of the same things consistently for a certain period of time is definitely going to help you to see results but then you have to go back in and maybe think about connecting with a nutritionist or a physician your doctor to really see you know some of the things that you can like modify or alter in your diet because if you have a lot of sugar sis I cut back on carbs, I cut back on sugar, I cut back on uh, some, of the, some of the types of fats that I was eating, and I don't even really do pasta anymore, I don't do rice, I hardly do quinoa, I've been looking at a ton of different alternatives because this, I can see the abs in the distance and that's why I'm not stopping, okay? But I want you guys to know that you have so many different options and I wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what it's like in my life when I get into my thing and I do what I do and how I stay motivated and I hope it motivates you guys to continue to do what you feel is right for your body because my journey is not going to be 100% what you need to be doing you have to make it work for you and you can make it do what it do sis and still come out on top I'm rooting for you guys and I love that you guys have always been rooting for me and been very supportive and encouraging so I'm gonna give you guys what you want so without further ado Let's get in to the video. Good morning, guys. So I like to do my workouts early in the morning. I have got a new trainer, and sometimes I still like to go running. You guys know that cardio is how I slim down in the waist, okay? That's how we lose those inches. But you know what? Consistency is the key. I'm trying to show you guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that's where everything goes down. And I'm out here staying committed and just putting in the hard work. I'm on my second mile. I'm tired, but that's no excuse. We gotta get to it. I just ran three miles. I'm tired, but I got it done. Now, even after a three mile jog, I'll do something crazy like climb the stairs, but I'm so much stronger than I was at the start of my journey. So I'm willing to push myself and try new things to get that heart rate accelerated. And on other days, I like to do things like jump and rope. This is old school for me. I did this when I was younger. So, you know, I can move and groove. I get into it and I can do it anywhere from three to five or even 10 minutes. And, you know, I like to work out like on a surface that can absorb the shock. So it's gentle on the knees. But you see, I mix it up. I get real groovy. I do my thing when I'm jumping 
jumping rope. I really enjoy it because it's so rigorous and intense. I definitely have to structure my breakfast accordingly. So it is calorically dense and I do pack in a little bit more fat and I do stay under a certain calorie count that is tailored to my specific needs at this point. And so the base of my smoothies and shakes is 16 ounces of cashew milk. It's unsweetened, okay? And I really love this, it's super creamy. And of course I add spinach and I'm getting into the 310 MCT oil to add in a little bit more fat content. And then you know I like to add in my scoop of collagen, you know, to keep the skin glistening. And with the 310 shake and the chocolate flavor, it has triplex protein. So you're getting hemp protein, pea protein, and even rice protein. And it allows you to have 15 grams of protein per serving. And you can pack it up and add in even more protein with peanut butter. You can do a little bit more avocado. You know, anything that you need, but I also like to prepare an omelet. You know what I'm saying? This is sufficient as a meal replacement, but I go the extra mile because of my rigorous activity. And I love adding things like mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, and I season my food. I am not shy. I use salt alternatives like Mrs. Dash to keep it healthy. And look how colorful that is. I'm salt bay with the food, okay? And I assemble my omelet using cheese, my sauteed vegetables. I am a lacto oval vegetarian, so this this is perfect for me how it's structured and it tastes so good like you can look at this and tell that the flavor is hitting okay and I feel full now for dinner because I don't really snack and I do intermittent fasting I structured the day so that I feel full and I'm eating accordingly and not overeating because that's very common and so tonight for dinner I wanted to do this stir fry with some of my favorite vegetables I love broccoli bell peppers fresh garlic sis you can get into it and the base for this is going to be the corn vegan chicken tenders and i like to do things like add coconut aminos to give the entire dish flavor and color <laughs> And this pasta zero spaghetti, these are new for me. Things like skinny pasta, and it's a great alternative. It's low in calories, super low in carbs, and you can really enjoy some of your favorite comfort foods without the guilt. And look how gorgeous my little lo mein stir fry is. This is definitely sufficient, and it's a great serving packed with protein and low in calories. And so I'm also gonna have the 310 lemonade, which is also in the starter kit. And it's good if you wanna have a nice drink, you don't wanna overindulge with soda wine and it pairs well with the dinner it tastes good and says this is how I really like to eat I stay consistent in how I prepare my meals and I make time to cook I have not ordered takeout so I am literally cooking everything and it feels good and I look good and my body is responding positively so hopefully you guys are tempted to try this because it's really good now, how did you guys like the little regimen that I gave you? Are you feeling it? Hopefully you take a little bit from this video and perhaps you at least talk to your physician, your nutritionist, your trainer about it. Get the help of a professional first and then, you know, maybe go in and modify some things and start writing down everything that you do. And if you're into the smoothies that I was making, I have the recipes linked below, but don't forget to check out 310 Nutrition, go to their website, which is super easy to navigate. Like they have a forum where you guys can go and see what other people are talking about. Like this is not a game. They have recipes, they have an ebook. You can get to see even more smoothie recipes and some, you know, inspirations for your shake to keep you motivated and just build a community so you feel like you can do this for the long run again my favorite flavor sis my favorite flavor for the shake has got to be the chocolate i'm in love and i told you guys i also got the collagen powder and sis okay 11 grams of protein in this i'm fueling my muscles you know the amino acid content is rich in this and you are like someone like me you're taking this every day your skin is gonna glisten your joints okay it doesn't just help with the skin it's the hair the joints just overall you know i'm just trying to be a healthy person i don't want to look healthy i want to actually be healthy and honey when you go to your doctor's visits and you get your blood work up and you step on that scale and your weight is in a very healthy range and your vitals are looking good sis 
Uh, okay, okay. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and check out Sweet Tin Nutrition. Definitely kick it with me in the comments if you have any questions about anything that you saw. What are some favorite foods that you guys have that you've implemented that may be low carb that are better for you know trying to see results and lean up the body? Because I want to know. We can feed off of each other. This is a community, and um, let me know what your goals are. Drop those in the comment section. So thank you so much, and I hope I see you in the next one.